Alright guys, so I said I was going to make a video about uh, naming the fields. That's critical for all teams, so I'm going to show you guys the structure on how we do that. So, basic stuff. The one is always going to be our back left. Uh, also, I'm going to go over this, kind of the names of stuff, where it usually goes, and then I'll go over some uh, of the field maps and some case use studies. So, one's always the back left, two's always going to be the back center, three is always going to be the back right, very, very universal. In the DBS program, the D side calls. Uh, the first bunker that you go to on the D side is the Dallas. Typically, the second one's going to be the Money Beast. So it always goes Dallas, Money Beast. Now, we also have D1, D2, D3, and on. Um, the Doritos themselves are usually going to be D1, D2, D3. So it may go Dallas, D1, D2 down to like the tape side, Money and Beast being more in line on the field. Uh, as far as the snake side calls go, it goes Seattle, God, Gateway. Uh, the gateway is always the bunker right before the snake. So you may only have two bunkers before, you know, they go from uh, from the start station to the snake, two bunkers in between there. So that would be Seattle gateway, and we would kind of save that god position for another part of the field. And then obviously in the snake we have the S1, S2, S3, S4, whatever part it goes. Uh, as far as kill count goes, you can either call kill 1, kill 2, kill 3, with the number representing the number of people that have been eliminated, or 11, 22, 33. So 11 is kill 1, 22 is kill 2, 33 is kill 3. Uh, 01 is going to mean that we lost a player. 02 means we lost two people. 03 means we've lost three players. Uh, the kind of three bunkers, uh, three names that we also use are going to be Ghetto, Cali, Cobra. Cobra is usually going to be kind of not a miscellaneous bunker, uh, but it'd be a bunker that would be on the snake side. Cobra, snake side. So Cobra is going to be some bunker on the snake side where, we'll, you know, not any rhyme or reason to it, but it's a name that we use for the snake side field depending on the layout. Cali's in a similar boat as Cobra, but it's for the Dorito side. No real rhyme or reason there, but it's just what we use. And Ghetto's usually going to be a bunker that we feel like it needs to get named, but probably isn't going to get played. Uh, on this board we also have Monday and Wednesday. Uh, so Monday is going to mean that all of the left side of the field is clear. So like the entire, you know, if I'm, if my, the, the Dorito side's on my left side, if there's no one in the D side, I'm going to call Monday so people know there's no one on the D side. Uh, Wednesday is going to be the snake side is clear. So there's no one in the snake, the snake corner, probably not in the gateway, but more or less of that snake side's uh, the clear. So you'd be able to quickly use this Monday, Wednesday call. So as an example, like for a Wednesday, I could call Wednesday if there's, if my snake player's in the snake and can cruise down the entire snake, I'm going to be calling Wednesday, 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 so they're aware of it and they know they can just kind of keep going. So that generally covers most of the terms that we use. There's some other special stuff that comes up too, but uh, you know, you'll learn that as you play more. Now I'm gonna go into some uh, case use. We'll go over the, the fields themselves. So some few maps I got set up over here. Get this moved here for you. So uh, not really a great way to do this, but it'll work. So these are the names for the uh, AC Dallas or excuse me, AC open. So we got the one, which is the back left. So one, uh, two, which is the back center. You can tell it's a little bit farther forward, but it is the back center. Uh, three, which is the, uh, the back right. So I'm acting like we're playing it this way. So we'd actually be naming the top one here. So three, two, one. Then we got Dallas. Then we got the money, because it's the next bunker that goes into the, the D side. Now on this layout, we decided we're going to do D1, D2, D3 because they're on the tape. Normally, obviously, on most field layouts, these are actually Doritos, but D1, D2, D3. So we got Dallas Money. We talked about Beast. So Beast is this inner uh, tall tower. So Dallas Money Beast, D1, D2, D3. Okay. As you can see on the map that we didn't even name this pill at all because no one's going to play there. And if they do, they're not going to probably stay there for very long, so I mean, at that point you can call Cali, whatever. So Cali is going to be the can. Uh, kind of, as you can see, it's in the center of the field on the D side. Uh, black is the center wing. Red, I didn't cover black and red, but those are kind of what we use also for the uh, usually 50-ish bunkers. So black and red for those. Uh, on the snake side of the field, we've got Seattle, God, Gateway, which lead perfectly into the snake. So S1, S2, S3. 
Uh, they're probably not going to play S4, but S4 if they do climb into your side. Uh, like we were talking about that ghetto call. This is over on the, the snake side in this example, but it doesn't mean it's going to be on the snake side on every layout. Because people may play this bunker, but they're probably not going to. Uh, Cobra is going to be the center, center temple, just because it's on the snake side. We need a name for it. So, that's what we're calling it for Atlantic City. Um, this is what we're going to use tomorrow for those that are watching the video immediately. Um, but another example that we have here is going to be like I pulled up the Vegas layout. And I named the Vegas layout. So we got the one, two, three, across the back line. We got Dallas. Uh, you can see it goes into the Doritos. So we go Dallas, D1, D2, D3, D4. And we've used Dallas, money for the can, and beast for, that's the tall wing that's standing up. Okay? So Dallas, money, beast, still on the D side, like that. D1, D2, D3, D4. Now, what will happen to you before events is I'll start posting up these layouts with names on them. So everyone's on the same page. Because... Although we're using Dallas Money Beast in this example, uh, teams may opt to use Cali just depending on what comes better off the tongue and as we play it more. So, and then over on the snake side, we got Seattle Gateway. You can see there's no, there's not three bunkers leading to the snakes. So we just got Seattle and then Gateway. We've used God for the uh, the wedge there, and then uh, Cobra is going to be the small W because it's on the snake side, kind of leads into the snake. S one, S two, S three, S four. Very basic there. Red and black for the mini Ws that are up there. So it's very clear. And this we just call center 50. Some people will yell A or W, but just center 50 for the, the center brick. So anyway, you can see that's kind of how this goes here. I have also as a kind of one more thing to show you guys. So I've got the Vegas layout. I've got the names here uh, in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is I actually already pasted in here the Texas open layout. So now the names you can see are going to be pretty close to uh, what we had in our Vegas layout. So I'll move them around real quick just so we can you can see the process a little bit for naming this. And I don't just generically paste them on here or anything, but uh, on this layout we do not have a 1. There's no back left corner. So we're going to delete the 1. The 2. Uh, because we have two bunkers that are kind of in our back center, it can be confusing on which one's which. So I believe on this layout we actually decided to take the 2 out. And we took Dallas and we made it the 1 on the left on the D side. And we made... Seattle, so it's just uh, Dallas, Seattle, real, right in the back there, okay? Real simple and easy. And then we're going to take, we're going to say our money is going to be this tower here. And D1, we'll move into the D1. Let me flip this off, there we go. D1, D2, D3. And there's not going to be a D4 on this layout. I mean, D4, I guess, would be on the other side of the field. So D1, D2, D3, D4. Uh, so we got Dallas money. We'll take our beast. And I'm going to use beast as this uh, mini Dorito, just because you don't know if people will play it or not. We will take and we will use our ghetto call for the small, uh, or excuse me, the tall cake that's there. Sorry, just making sure this thing was still recording because it has cut out on me before. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So it looks like I didn't put the ghetto on there. I'm just going to say this is the ghetto, okay? So you can see. Ghetto is a tall cake. Uh, Cali was not listed, so I'm going to go ahead and I will add it real quick. So it's going to be our Cali. We'll move our gateway bunker, our god, because we have the uh, Seattle here, we're going to name the can there as our god. So what else we got here? So we already got these names, Seattle god gateway, real clear, transition into the snake. We'll take our cobra call, and we're going to assign that to this uh, temple that's here, because it is a bunker that's probably going to get played. We're not going to worry about naming these two trees, just because, guess what, it doesn't really matter. But you guys can kind of see here that, I mean, things kind of by themselves fell into to place a little bit, right? So we have to move some of this stuff around a little bit, but it does generically uh, kind of translate field to field. So, sorry, I blew this graphic up really big so people could see. It's kind of slowing things down a little bit. So, anyway, uh, doo -doo, let's see. So, I mean, we still have to name the, uh, the wings here. I'm not going to worry about doing that on this layout because we're not going to play on it. But uh, it does give you a, a good example 
of using that Dallas money beast, right? We've assigned the beast on the side. Cali, Cobra, Seattle God Gateway. One, two, guess what? We don't have one on this field because there is no back left corner. There's no clear back center, so it can confuse people on the layout. Uh, and we do have a three, which would be our back right. So just keep in mind, if I was playing it from this side of the field playing that way, the snake corner would actually become my one because it is the back left, right? So it would be one if we're on um, you know, this upper side of the field playing down, from the bottom side playing up, the snake corner is going to be the three. So anyway, I hope that explains a little bit about how we name bunkers. Uh, I will post up the uh, map here so you guys have the names that we're going to use for tomorrow. That way everybody can practice using those, those specific names. So, uh, One other thing that goes with this too is when you are communicating, remember we are trying to talk to each other, not over each other. So uh, you, know, you want to yell out what you know, but at the same time if someone else is screaming, there's no point in you starting to scream immediately. Uh, also, you're going to want to project your voice, so instead of saying, you know, instead of elevating and breaking, you know, your voice breaking and yelling as loud as you can, just work on raising your voice a little bit and work on that. I mean, you can work on that outside of the paintball field too, but you're just trying to elevate the volume as opposed to screaming at each other. Uh, now, as far as saying, putting this all together and saying stuff, so you always want to go, uh, just like reading a book, left to right, uh, top to bottom, right? So one, two, three. So if I knew there was a, let's say a one, a cowie, a two, an S2, and a cobra, I'm going to say one, two, cowie, cobra, S2, right? Because I'm starting with my farthest top uh, corner here. One, two, cowie, cobra, S2, okay? So you're kind of, you know, you're working that process there as you put it on. Now, once you said where everyone is, that's when you would start adding on your kill count. So let's say that we there wasn't an S2, we had shot that guy. I would say 1, 2, Cali, Cobra, 11, or kill 1. Either one of those two is fine with me. Uh, so 1, 2, Cali, Cobra, kill 1, right? That gives me all five people. Now, at the end of all of that, we've accounted for the other team. You want to add on whether you've lost someone or not. Uh, if you haven't lost anyone, you don't have to say, oh, oh, or we haven't lost anyone. Uh, you just call it where the opponent is. But if you have lost a player or two, at that point I would say 1, 2, Cali, Cobra, 11, 01, right? So we know that we've lost a teammate. It just gives a full update on what's going on, right? Now, also in these examples, don't forget these calls that we talked about, the Monday and the Wednesday. So if I'm playing from the bottom um, part of this field, if we've shot everyone kind of from, like, really it's from the Dallas uh, over, like if there's no Dallas or anyone beyond that, then I would be calling Monday so my team knows there's no one wide on the D side. Uh, if we have done the same thing on the snake side, I would be calling Wednesday so people know that there's not anyone on the, uh, the snake side of the field, right? So anyway, hope that's helpful. Post any questions that you have and uh, I will we'll get to addressing them. Again, there'll be more videos that come out and whatnot, so as you have these questions, just let me know and we will do our best to help educate the, uh, the program. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.